that would ban abortion after a fetal heartbeat is detected is moving forward in the Tennessee legislature. And many agree if this becomes law, it likely would trigger a constitutional fight. It would. Chantel Batista found out the Tri-Cities lawmaker backing the bill says it's about saving lives. Blatant attacks like this are coming from those who are put in office to represent us, to represent our best interests, and they're doing things like this. Someone has to stand up and say that this is wrong. Brittany Fox is one of many women's rights activists that are against the heartbeat bill sponsored by Representative Micah Van Hus of Jonesboro. Van Hus says a heartbeat is typically detected between six to eight weeks into pregnancy. He says if the bill is passed, it would ban 56 percent of abortions in the state of Tennessee, saving a total of 5,500 babies a year. We cannot continue to allow the slaughter of the unborn while we hope for better circumstances and we cannot cede this responsibility to the next generation years down the road. Representative Van Hus proposed this bill three years in a row. This year the bill received the most backing from legislators including support from Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. But some pro-life supporters question their push and question the bill's constitutionality. Why is he continuing to um, support something that has been overturned in committee, that has not been signed into law, that other states across the country, um, similar laws have been found to be unconstitutional. And it seems as though legislators are prepared for the battle ahead. We may just have to hire uh, outside counsel instead of using the attorney general to defend this. And my intention is to save babies' lives. Um, but should it get challenged, I would like to say uh, that this is a fight worth fighting. Meanwhile, pro-choice Tennesseans worry that if this bill is passed, it may do more harm than good. It's not going to achieve their goal of getting rid of abortions or having there be fewer abortions in the state of Tennessee. It's going to limit access to safe abortions. The bill does include an exception for emergency medical situations. The bill has been referred to the Health Committee and they will be reviewing it on Tuesday.